Hi you guys, this is Allison hanging out in my space to craft and I'm doing another of the page kits I put together. This is a St. Patrick's Day. These are the only two pieces of, well, it's one piece backside of St. Patrick's paper that I have. Um, so I decided to use it up. So I only have one little piece of ephemera happy. I do have a story to tell, so I definitely need some journaling space. Um, this is the only picture I have, but prior to this, we had been to see the new um, Hubble movie about the um, universe, um, and it, it was a little bit of a um, mind-blowing experience, and then it happened to ha be on St. Patrick's Day, so we went to McMonagall's uh, bar uh, in Houston. So, this is the paper I have. Love this. I'm going to keep this. Um, and then I opened up Facebook, uh, Christie's 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life to look for a sketch. And this was the first one that popped up. Um, let me try and do it so you don't get the glare. But it um, is day eight created by Lisa Sikorsky, and it's got a piece of paper in the back and then three smaller blocks, two portrait photos, and embellishments. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I will barely have to adjust anything, except I'm not gonna use little circles. I'm probably going to go cut some clovers on my Cricut to use for that. So what I'm thinking, I'm going to trim these down just a bit so that they are um, a little more manageable, not quite full four by six. There's a lot of dead space here and some dead space here. So trim those down, mat them on cream, um, use this as my base paper, use this as my block, my main block. And then I have, I have some black that I can use for one of the small blocks that I had pulled out, which I don't dislike. And then I have um, just some green um, cardstock that I'll use for a block. And then I think I will end up making a tag for my journaling because on her sketch she has um, journaling on this piece of paper and that's gonna be too dark, I think. It's not probably not gonna work. And then I just need to figure out a good title. So that is my plan. Um, let me go do a little homework, map this cut my blocks, and um, probably play on my Cricut just a bit and look for some title, um, some alphas for my title and figure out what I want my title to be. Um, all right, I'll be back. Hi, you guys, I'm back. That didn't take very long at all, actually. Amazing what a sketch can do for you. Let me rearrange my desk here a bit. So I've been on my Cricut, and I have a Cricut subscription, so it's really easy to find things for free. Occasionally, there's still stuff that they want you to pay for, which I just refuse to do. Um, you know, like, I guess licensed fonts or something like that. Anyway, so I have a St. Patrick's Day. I think it's, oh, it might fit there actually. I was worried that it was gonna have to go down here on top of this, but I think because of the shape of it, I can fudge it. So um, let me explain what happened. <laughs> I cut this piece that I intended to be the second largest block. I just cut it too small. So I decided to use it as the smallest block and then I went into my stash and I found this 
perfect piece of paper um, that match. I have no idea where it came from. Um, found it in my stash when I was cleaning up. Um, it's a little bit glossy and it has like little grass on it. I think it's real cute. So I'm using that. Um, on my Cricut, I decided I needed something other than, um, or more than, let's say, just, uh, uh, what's who's it? Uh, shamrocks. I did cut some shamrocks in two different sizes out of the same papers, but I made a little cauldron of gold, a little pot of gold that I will put somewhere. Um, I think they had a, so that one may go at the top up here, since I've got this black down here to help balance things. And I'm not gonna worry about centering um, all of these, because I'm not centered on the page, so I'm okay with that. Now, I may, I may go in with my utility knife for a couple of these to, to cut around them so that they overlap here and I don't know about here, maybe one here. Some of them will just overlap, I mean, disappear, but some of them, like this one I may cut and this one I may cut. In fact, I think I will. So I'll have to do that off screen. Um, and then if I just have to cheat this all up a bit. bit. All right, so time for some speedy scrapbooking. Um, so I'm, I, I try and ink all the ephemera, all of those um, shamrocks or clovers I ink. I had found this Spellbinders um, rainbow packet and there's all gold rainbows. So I think that looks really, really cute. And I can do the rainbows without introducing additional colors. I really like the sort of monochromatic look of this page with the little touches of black, of course. So I'm just trying to place, doing rough placement of what I want where. And then I'm going to go off and do that cutting on the base paper using my utility knife, my new crafting knife. So that process is done, and you can see the little um, shamrock sticking out on top of that base paper. So now it's time to adhere everything down. So I'm just trying to position things so that um, it looks intentional where I'm not half covering um, one of the other shamrocks that's on the base, the base paper. I love doing that um, where you make things sort of stick out um, on top of the <clears throat> your layering papers. I've, I've done it before. I did it for the Ticket to Ride page, if you want to see that um, on my channel and um, several other times. So this is going to get a little adjustment just trying to sneak that title in so it's not overlapping the dark green too much that's my that's my plan and as I said before I wasn't too worried about getting all of those things exactly centered in fact I like it a little off-centered um, makes it a little more interesting and that happy just worked perfectly but now I decide I need to um, get some uh, brads to put in it I keep the brads right behind the table that I work at in my scrap desk that you, I've done a cleaning video of before, but they sit right behind my chair. So I just have to adjust my chair and then I can open this cabinet and pull out all my brads. It's not the best use of that ca cabinet because they're pretty 
deep shelves, but that's what's working for me right now. So I like the addition of those little black metallic brads on there. I, I was really happy with the way this page turned out for being relatively simple and monochromatic and very themey. Um, it just still came out really cute. So just trying to figure out, you know, that pot of gold is supposed to be under the rainbow. So I was trying to get it a little, a little bit higher so that it would fit. And then just, just tucking, thing, just tucking things in. Seeing what I forgot to stick down. <laughs> All right, so almost finished with this. I do go and ink the edges of the paper just to um, give it a little more substance and make it look like all the other papers. We're almost done and I'll go to the real time review. I do pull out gold sequins here instead of enamel dots or anything else um, since I'm going with that green and gold theme. <clears throat> And they are just the right finishing touch for this page, I think. And this is about the end of my voiceover. So we're about to go to the final look. Here we go. Christy's Beautiful Life sketch, day eight. This is my St. Patrick's Day interpretation of that. Made my own ephemera on Cricut and then Spellbinders and gold, rainbows, some sequins, Fun Stamper's Journey paper. Thanks a lot, you guys.